wireless telegraphy, or radio, was a technology that was in reach of all. It wasn't just big organisations who could make significant developments. The amateur, the tinkerer, the user could all play their part in making new innovations. The radio amateur played a big part in the development of radio technology early in the 20th century. Here's one example. A young man called Fred Walker built apparatus very much like this in 1924, and in doing so, he was the first person to receive radio signals from Australia. Now, this was really quite an achievement, and it had been done more or less by somebody just sitting in his living room or bedroom, putting together components that were readily available to all. This shortwave receiver came to the museum, not Science Museum, not long afterwards, and it's always been on show ever since because it is, represents such a significant step in the development of this technology.